In 2018, Fortnite decided to stand out from all Battle Royale games by secretly adding a comet in the sky. The developers didn't talk about it, and so we all assumed it was just a decoration or a cool effect, but then it started getting closer. Day after day, the media hurtled towards the island, creating this almost magical feeling that something was about to change the game forever. And it did! Do you hear that? Like that Yeah, it's like a low hum, right? What the hell is it? I just saw a star! The surprise, the build-up, and the experience with your friends made this such an incredible moment. But somehow, years later, this magic has disappeared. Fracture wasn't just any live event, it was a chapter launch, and yet most fans argue it was the worst event Fortnite has ever done. But why? This downfall of live events started way before Chapter 4, and in my opinion, can still be fixed. To understand how to make them feel special again, we have to learn from the event that made them special to begin with. Instead of looking into the stars, we had an actual rocket on the map now. You could go up to it, take photos with it, and most players were panicking about what would happen next. You had to be in game at the perfect moment or you'd miss it, so everyone rushed online. For the first time ever, people actually stopped shooting. We all joined together to watch the rocket blast off, with the tire lobbies becoming friends with each other a truly once in a lifetime moment it's going oh, oh. oh my god Everyone waited in suspense, wondering what Fortnite could do next, not realizing they were about to raise the bar even higher. On a normal summer day, we were all just enjoying the game when Epic hit us with the most unexpected event of all time. Bro, is this, is this an event? What? Just happened! The mystery of the rocket was nothing in comparison to a cube that deflected bullets and killed anyone in its path. This was more than just a prop, now events were giving us actual characters, and so we immediately fell in love with Kevin. Every few hours he would move, which inspired so many people to create live streams dedicated to tracking him. Finally, he was approaching the lake, and once again, everyone rushed to be a part of his journey ending. It's melting! It's melting! Look at all of the lake. The water's purple! Oh! Oh! Oh, it's all oh the just looking back at this makes me feel so nostalgic, and it shows how special these events were. Not only was this the build up to Fortnite Mares 2018, but it also created the theme of Season 6, which was about to take the story even further. The cube wasn't rolling around anymore, he evolved into an actual POI that you could land on. It was perfect storytelling, as his floating island became more unstable, and considering how attached we were to Kevin, everyone was nervous. With Loot Lake, Fortnite proved they could change a POI in the middle of a game, and now they were doing it constantly with the floating Floating island. Little did we know the upcoming event wouldn't just affect Kevin, it would change the entire map. What? God? What? Am I dead? <laughs> what? what is this? Look at all these people. Bro, it's a butterfly. It, it is. I'm going for it, dude. Uh, tomato oh man. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. What? It's mine. I have it. I took it. This was the first time we'd seen anything like this, and by now, Fortnite was known as the only game on Earth that could pull this off. So when the next event was announced, expectations were through the roof. Epic had raised the bar every single time, but with Kevin out of the picture, a new character needed introducing. Except this time, it was the Ice King. We weren't as curious about this guy compared to Kevin, which should have been a warning sign from the very beginning. As the countdown hit zero, we held our breath in anticipation. Oh, he's doing oh, something. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, what oh. the hell? Uh-oh. What's he gonna do? What the heck? I think the entire map is snowy now. It's an ice storm. <laughs> Is that That's it? what I said! Where's the dragons? Where is the dragons? After having our minds blown by the butterfly event, the Ice King seemed a little underwhelming. It was impressive to see him cover the island in snow, but it was too predictable. By now, the reputation was so good that millions of people were watching these events and it backfired massively. The servers couldn't handle it anymore. Even if you were 30 minutes early, you would struggle to log in, and this left many players salty when they ended up missing the whole thing. It was the first time Epic had truly messed up, and the pressure was on to reduce themselves with one of the greatest events of all time. Instead of creating a story, they decided to focus on an experience that would make headlines. Fortnite was now the most popular game on the planet and they needed to go big or go home. The only way to do that was by contacting Marshmallow and revealing the Showtime concert. What we all thought would be a lighthearted collab turned out to be a full-scale event with visual effects and Marshmallow talking to us. It was mind-blowing. 
We had never seen anything like it, and everyone was begging for more. This is when Fordyte totally played us. For the next few months, we all paid attention to the huge volcano POI that was on the map, and imagined how cool it would be if it erupted. These theories were debunked when the actual buildup began, as we had to work together as a community to solve puzzles and unlock the vault. Each rune had a different way to solve it, and it was a teaser for just how interactive the event was going to be. As the doors opened, the unfolding was revealed. Get in! I'm in. Oh my god! What's happening? They're all beating the sh out of everything in here. Is there like a bar that's going up or anything? No, we got look, I mean, no, look at the cracks up. Look at the cracks. Oh, there's like a crystal ball as well. Do you see that? <laughs> no! Saint is what have we done? Uh oh. We're all floating up. Going back up. Now this is where everyone's theories actually came true. It wasn't just a way to unvault the drum gun. It was a grand finale for the volcano to deliver a shocking blow. Oh my God, it's gonna hit me! Oh, there's three of them. Yep. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. Oh, no, Delta! Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. Oh, Epic kept the momentum going with their most ambitious event of chapter one. It started with a creepy eye that stalked you without blinking, and it got a lot of people talking. We couldn't tell if we were excited or terrified, and that's when it broke free, only to disappear in the ocean. At the same time, a huge robot was being constructed at the volcano, and we connected the dots to figure out a final showdown was approaching. It hadn't even started, and it was already memorable. Nobody knew who would win the fight, and as the clock reached zero, our minds were blown. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Look at the mech, yo, north, north, north. Oh my god, bro, this is actually insane. Oh, oh, he's running. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Wait, oh my god, what's he picking up? Take oh, it, he's taking the statue. Oh my god, it's a sword. It's a sword. It's a sword. Oh. Yes. Every great event until now has been unpredictable, keeping us on the edge of our seats and putting on an incredible performance. That's when the chapter one finale was announced. We had no idea what to expect, and the mystery of something called the end was exciting on its own. The only image was the island waving goodbye to the bus driver, and it kind of felt permanent. This had a completely different atmosphere. Fortnite actually convinced us that it might be shutting down for good. So as we watched the rockets blast off, the only thing left to do was enjoy the ride. How many rockets? The meteor's powering up! Oh, this is gonna blow it up! It's going to the zero point! It's going to the zero point! Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Look up, look up, look up! The comet, the comet's up! Oh my god! Oh! Dude, I'm off the map. Oh! My! God! Looking back makes us feel so nostalgic, and honestly, you're left wondering, where did it all go wrong? We stared at this black hole full of excitement and hope for another year of pushing the bar higher, but it didn't exactly go as planned. As we were thrown into chapter two, it was already off to a pretty rocky start. Fortnite announced a Star Wars event, and we should have paid more attention because this was the first sign that things were beginning to crack. For a few minutes, there was hope, a huge intro with Star Wars music, ships flying around, and the Millennium Falcon making a grand entrance. Then it got weird, as it turned into a talk show with J.J. Abrams where he featured a clip from the movie. As a send-off, they gave us lightsabers, but despite some positives, the fans walked away feeling disappointed and said this was nothing more than an ad. Just like in Chapter 1, any sign of a bad event was immediately followed up by a concert, and it made everyone forget what happened, this time better than ever. Travis Scott took the stage, or so we thought. As he arrived on a huge planet, the fake stage was destroyed, and at this moment, we knew Astronomical was about to break the internet. They took everything we loved over the years and dialed it up to 11, taking us on a journey through space, warping the island, and even sending us underwater. To this day, it's still the most popular event in Fortnite history, and it's the biggest virtual concert of all time. It's probably why we ignored the signs, because Epic always found a way to redeem themselves in the end. Or so we thought. Trying to follow up something like Astronomical was gonna be a challenge, so they decided to go back to their roots with the device event. It had all the classic ingredients, an evolving POI, a mysterious villain, and tons of hype. That's all you needed for success, right? <laughs> Hit the button! Whoa! Oh They're oh, absorbing the storm's power right now, dude. It's pushing it out, it's expanding it. Oh boy. Did they just troll us? Wait a oh, second. Default skin. Dude, we're oh, yeah. glitching in and out of the matrix, bro. Oh. 
Is that it? Is it over? That's gotta be it. For the first time ever, players finished an event and said, is that it? Instead of being mysterious, players were more so confused. Maybe it's because of how insane Travis Scott was, but something about the device felt off. And that feeling was starting to grow as we prepared for a huge battle against Galactus. Epic was teasing this as the biggest event yet. So obviously, we were hyped, especially when the villain is planet-sized. There was a lot of potential here, and with seconds to go, it was time for the Devourer of Worlds. He's gonna swipe us, bro. He's gonna swipe us. Ah! That's where the zero point is. It's under the ruins. No! No! Oh, shoot. It's fighting back. It's fighting back. He can't control it. Oh, dude, what is going on? It's actually a black hole. Black hole? Black hole? <gasps> I'm in the bad bus. It's way too early in the morning for this. I didn't sign up for this. I thought it was going to have several sections of it. Like, I thought it was going to go from, like, bus to, like, powers to something else. Once again, that underwhelming feeling was still in the back of our minds. There's so many great things to say about this event, but people thought it was mostly anticlimactic and far too predictable. Put it simply, Galactus felt like the world's easiest boss fight, and this problem would continue to snowball. The downward spiral was becoming more obvious, and Fortnite had to come up with a solution. The Zero Crisis finale sounded great at first. In fact, Epic got the Russo brothers to direct some of it. What could go wrong? And so as it began, our excitement skyrocketed. The Russo's cutscene was beautiful, action-packed, and fully warmed us up for what was to come. As it ended, the gameplay began and it was a disaster. You weren't able to do this with your friends because it was a solo event, and this is where they totally missed the mark. You just followed NPCs and closed portals for a few minutes, which got old pretty quick. But thankfully, there was a reason to stick around. As the music got louder, the grand finale was about to begin. Whoa! You don't have to do this. Is he gonna die for us? I'm going up. Okay, Jones is now back. That's good. Oh! Jones, we won't get another chance. You no! need to seal off the zero point and overload the device. No! Oh my gosh, she's inside. Bro! While it was memorable, the magic just wasn't there. You could argue it wasn't playing with your friends or the tasks being straight up boring, but it was pretty easy to shrug off after the multiple insane events before this. Now it was time for the annual concert, and Ariana Grande stepped up to the stage as the headliner. A great choice as usual, but as the event began, it seemed all over the place. There was a random memory scan at the beginning, followed by two songs from Juice World and Sia, and then a boss fight with the Storm King. Just like Galactus, we only had to point and shoot. It was nothing new and after five minutes, the Ariana concert finally began. The music was great, the visuals were stunning, and that magic of Fortnite felt like it returned. Epic were rewarding our patience, and now they just needed to keep that momentum. Operation Skyfire was their next test, and nobody knew what to expect. Would Chapter 2 be carried by collabs, or would Fortnite prove themselves? Whoa, what are these killers? Wait, is it what zombies? Is, is there this zombies here? Yo, look at this UFO right here! What is this? The alien oh, Kevin! Kevin? How many cameras are there? Oh boy, here we go. Why is there... Oh. No, 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 no. Iron Man, is Iron Man going to save us this time? Yo. Now that's a cinematic in Fortnite. Instantly, this was loved by the fans. It was tense, mysterious, and included the greatest plot twist Epic has ever done. We were so happy that the game was back to normal, but unfortunately, it would only last a few more months. Season 8 was about to end, and this came with a lot of pressure. After the success of the Black Hole, they knew they had to get this right. We all wondered how they could possibly live up to the first end event, but maybe we shouldn't have doubted them. What's that guy? I watched you die. Oh. It's, the <laughs> it's the rock! We're gonna be outside the island. It's a new map. Oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> if it says to be continued, I'm gonna be so mad, bro. This is it. Blackout. Black hole. It was mesmerizing, and for the first time, it felt like an actual movie. Not just because The Rock was in it, but how insane the island flip was. At this point, all doubt was completely gone. Everyone was excited for Chapter 3, and what could possibly be better than this? The answer, though, was nothing. We didn't know it yet, but Fortnite was about to ruin everything. For years, we were building towards a war between the Seven and the IO, and it was now time for them to clash. We have been waiting for this longer than any other event. Epic knew how important this was, bringing back characters like the Mecha Team 
leader and introducing fresh faces with the Origin and Geno. All the signs are promising. They even started it from space, but they spent so much time hyping up Collision, it became their downfall. You got the thing in your stomach a little bit? Like, like oh, yeah. yeah. Hold your fire. Hold your Thank fire. You. Oh, he's slow. You don't have to do this. Who the hell are you? <laughs> what the? She just died. Wait, who is that? Zero out of ten. Where's Clombo? continue. <laughs> The story of the event turned out to be incredibly confusing, with the actual ending being revealed in a comic months later. People were disappointed after realizing the gameplay was just pointing and shooting again. So much potential had been lost, giving us that same feeling from all those years ago. What's crazier is how Chapter 3 only had one other live event, and that was the finale. In the past, Epic put their heart and soul into these, and because of that, there were some huge expectations. From Black Hole to Island Flip, what was next? The star aligned for this to be their ultimate redemption, but sadly, it turned out to be the final nail in the coffin. More? Bro, this is such a weird event. Okay, I gotta drop off a chicken here. Hell yeah, I got a point. So, wait, was it not really even an event then? You're f***ing kidding. Apparently there's been something. <laughs> there wasn't even an event though! Millions of people consider this to be one of the worst events Fortnite has ever made. Months of buildup were shrugged off, and clearly something went wrong in production with unanswered questions, deleted scenes in the files. It just left a weird impression on all of us. We're officially at an all-time low. Gone are the days of revolutionary in-game experiences that make your whole squad speculate and have no idea what's coming next. It now feels like the best parts are in cutscenes, and we can't even trust them because it could be undone by a comic a few weeks later. If Fortnite truly wants to fix events in the future, it needs to be a community experience, it has to be a surprise with a great amount of buildup, but most importantly, it just can't be basic point and shooting that doesn't even matter because you'll beat it anyway. Love to hear your suggestions and feedback for future events in the comments, but it's been Tommy, keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.